Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn my back and slam the door. Hi, Miss Shioni. I'm Vanessa Tendroko, and I will be presenting to you my group's preliminary calculations. Okay, so. In order to figure out the launch angle, we needed to look back at what Mr. Science taught us. And we learned that the horizontal and the vertical velocity must be equal. And the only way is by using the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Thank you. So in addition, there are no horizontal forces acting upon projectiles, and thus no horizontal acceleration. And and also, there is a vertical acceleration caused by gravity. Its value is 9.8 x meters. So we found the distance and time of our catapult, and now we need to figure out the velocity. In order to do this, we need to use the equation V equals D over T. So using our handy dandy calculator, we need to plug our numbers in. To find the vertical velocity, we used four-step solving technique. As we know, our launch angle is 45 degrees. The horizontal is also the x component, so the vertical velocity would be the y component. For example, the givens are the angle and the horizontal velocity, which we found to be 9.31 meters per second. The equation that we used was the horizontal velocity times tangent data, which equals to the vertical velocity. The result proves that the vertical velocity equals to the horizontal velocity, which is 9.31 meter per second. the horizontal and vertical velocity so then we can find the resultant velocity for example nine point thirty one is meters per second is the horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity is also 9.31 meters per second. 
So now we need to find the resultant by using the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared equals plus b squared equals c squared. A squared is 9.31 plus 9.31, both are squared, equals c squared. So how we took the measurements for this data is we went outside to the streets, launched a bouncy ball I got from my younger sister, and used my cell phone to measure the time it took for the catapult to launch. It took us a lot of trials in order to get the distance we want it to, which is 20 meters. In the end, we came close. Collected all of our data. We used the calculator to figure out our horizontal velocity, vertical velocity, and the resultant. Like, if I just want to add, like, have we made the triggers? 